hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to talk about something a bit different the problems with python yep you heard it right while python is a fantastic language loved by many it does have its downsides so let's dive in and explore some of these issues first let's talk about performance python is an interpreted language which means it tends to be slower compared to compiled languages like c or c this can be a big issue for applications where speed is crucial, such as high-frequency trading or real-time simulation. While there are ways to mitigate this, like using JIT compilers or integrating with faster languages, it's something to keep in mind if performance is a top priority. Another problem is a memory consumption. Python C's of use and flexibility come at a cost it can be quite memory hungry. This can be problematic for applications that need to handle large data sets or require efficient memory usage. In such cases, languages like C++ or Rust might be more appropriate due to their lower level memory management capabilities. When it comes to mobile development, Python is not a good language. While there are frameworks like Kiwi and Beware, they allow you to create mobile apps with Python, but they are not as mature or widely adopted as native development tools like Swift for iOS or Kotlin for Android. This means that if you are looking to build a high-performance native mobile app, Python might not be the best choice. Python's package management can also be a bit of a headache, while tools like pip and virtual environment have made things easier dependency conflicts still arise especially in large projects with many dependencies this can lead to what's often called dependency hell where you spend more time managing packages than actually coding python isn't the best choice for browser and game development for web-based applications that require extensive front-end work JavaScript is the reigning champion. For game development, engines like Unity and Unreal use languages like C Sharp and C++, which are better and feature-rich for those specific needs. Finally, let's talk about error handling and debugging Python. Error handling and debugging Python can sometimes be less intuitive compared to statically typed languages. Since Python is dynamically typed, certain errors that would be caught during compilation in languages like Java or C++ only surface at runtime. This can make debugging a bit more challenging, especially for beginners. So in this video, we discuss some of the problems with Python. But don't get me wrong, Python is still a fantastic language with a lot to offer, especially for beginners and for rapid development. It's all about knowing its limitations and choosing the right tool for the job. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. What do you think are the biggest problems with Python? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy coding.